Take my hand, come with me And we'll find better ways to be Something much more than we'll see And we'll live and we'll grow Taking steps into the unknown There we will find the essence of life For thousands of years, the great masters of art and architecture knew the secrets that affect your relationships, your finances, and your health. But these secrets have remained hidden. With today's challenges, the world is ready for transformation. The key is energy. I'm Carrie Wildy. And I'm bringing back this ancient wisdom and secret knowledge to energize your life. Okay, up next on my show is Carrie Weldy. <laughs> hey, Carrie, I'm Donna Drake. Hi, Donna. Hi, I host well. Live It Up. Hello. Nice are to you meet. living it up? I always. Are you We're kidding me? It up this I know. Whoa. I know. We're excited. I was just thinking, um, my show celebrates the essence of life, and oh. so I think our brands are very similar. Hello. I can actually feel it in your handshake. I know. Can you feel yeah, it? Yeah. The like palm it. chakras. Wow. <laughs> Good stuff here at Nappy. Okay, so tell us a little bit about your show. It's uh, well, I design and build spaces, okay. and I've been on HDV for five, six years, but now I've decided to take this up a notch. Let's just say, and. Uh, I do an energy makeover show, so I design and I, I do renovations of spaces, and this is one of a restaurant for episode one, and we got 26 episodes coming out in the fall with a half hour uh, series, and it's going to be it's going to be cool. It's going to rock the planet. It's a brand new show, so what I do is I change spaces physically and energetically, and then we see the reaction, what happens with the biology of the people in it and the space, and spaces are transformed. It's a whole new, brand new genre, we think. What does the vision look like for the restaurant? No, it should be the place to be. Good service, but take right too now. deep at the bar. The whole process of visualization is very important because it's the birthplace of creating the reality. Right. You know, you come in and you're like, wow. You have lines What's out the, the door. I just want to cook. That's all I want to do is create food and cook. They're not telling us like how bad it is. They have literally about one week's worth of cash. You think you can help them? Well, I know I can. But you know that we have I'll be. Uh, I've got some tricks up my sleeves. Creating a sacred space is creating an environment that is healing, nurturing, and empowering. It's about feeling good. <laughs> what do you think of the colors? So Jenny and I are walking through the restaurant doing our energy survey, and the first thing we notice is it doesn't feel warm. Hey, Jen. Hey, Carrie. This is your Oh, oh. So we've done an assessment of your place, you know, a restaurant, to try to figure out what kinds of things can we uh, boost the energy. I like it. In fact, three years ago when I started my show, um, you know, and I would say to them, I'm like, it's an empowerment show. It's a feel good show. Mm -hmm. And people were like, what? but now that Oprah started the Empowerment Network, people yes. were like, oh, Donna, I get it. So um, I think time is, mm -hmm. I think time right now is yeah. like for shows like us because people are getting it and they're wanting it. They really need that hope. This, this is a message about hope and um, we're getting enormous reaction. Our investors are excited. Um, everybody's excited about the show. We're signing on people. We're signing on broad broadcasters and owns and operates and then the satellites on top of that and um, this show is going to be surprising to people it's going to be very engaging we give energy tips throughout the episode and fans are going to love it and the audiences are going to love it don't you feel like um, it's not so much about you but that you're a conduit for it, it? Yeah. well I talk about that in this episode I deal with the waiter and I said you know you're in a relationship with these people at every table it's reframing. You're not just serving food. You have an opportunity to give kindness to the world or a gift. Or maybe you see somebody that's down and you can tap them on the shoulder and lift them up. 
and this is your opportunity to give. And that night, after I gave him these other injury tips like face north or face east, whenever you're serving, you're a waiter. All the waiters listen in the world. He beat out the bar and he beat out all the other waiters and he's done it consistently. So he's a sacred space. You are a sacred space. Thank you. You are a sacred space. <laughs> yeah, Robin so. Adams, our cameraman, he is a sacred space. <laughs> cameraman is <laughs> And uh, what is he doing, putting symbols under tables to change the energy? I don't know. So as soon as you step in, you're feeling good. Oh. Ah. Ah. It's like, oh. oh. Now I feel and like, like a, oh. I'm Ethan, and I'm a server here at Jackson Homestead. Hello there, how are we yeah. doing? Just living paycheck to paycheck can't really improve your life. How much more money would you want to make? Twice as much. Stand facing north. Always. Always. I'm giving Ethan these tips so he can attract abundance in his life. But this is every opportunity for you to give of yourself, of the gifts of kindness. Everyone that Carrie meets, he's drawn to. It's, it's just this thing. He wants to get close to them and he wants to help them. I'm going to energize a retirement community. I'm going to energize a pet shelter. Another episode is going to feature a hospital. We're talking with them now. Uh, I'm going to feature the energy makeover, what I did with the Chicago Cubs. We're going to feature a uh, sports team that's a wide, a big franchise. And then I'm going to take a NASCAR driver that's not doing so well and see what we can do with him. Now, how did you realize that you had a gift for that? Or where, who did you study with? Well, or were you born in Arizona underneath a magical rock? Like, what happened? Well, I design and build homes. So I've been intrigued by looking at what I call the secrets of the masters, you know, starting with sacred geometry. We all hear about the ratio 1 to 1.618. So when you draw that ratio instantly, it evokes an energy field. And you could do other forms of energetic geometry. And I can, I can teach Vera Wang, which we're going to do in a wedding episode. I'm going to teach Vera Wang how to use sacred numbers <laughs> to create an energy field that supercharges the bride for obvious reasons, and um, and sacred geometry and things like that. So it'll be very cool. It's proper application of these principles that have always been around us for thousands of years and taking it to the masses. And it's unveiling these secrets of the masters that's going to change the energy. I love it. Congratulations. I'm really honored to meet you and excited for you and celebrating what you're doing. It's wonderful. Thank you so much. The makeover is done. I'm impressed. Is it enough to turn it into a hoppin' joint?